first grade. Today we will be reading the book Chicks and Salsa and then after the video I'm going to introduce a new concept to you called character traits and we are going to focus on describing the different character traits or the personality of the, our main character Brewster. So let's get started. Chicks and Salsa by Erin Reynolds and illustrated by Paulette Bogan. There were grumblings in the hen house of Nuthatcher Farm. The chickens were tired of chicken feed. The rooster took it upon himself to solve this problem. How do you think a rooster is going to solve the problem of chickens not liking their food? Mrs. Nuthatcher, the farmer's wife, had started watching cooking shows in the afternoons. The rooster was perched on the fence post outside the farmhouse window when he discovered the solution to his problem. Salsa. Led by the rooster, the chickens crept into the garden where they took tomatoes and uprooted onions. That night, the chickens ate chips and salsa, though nobody was quite certain where the chickens got the chips. The tasty tang of the tomatoes and onions hung over the barnyard, and the rooster said, Ole. Very soon, there were mumblings in the duck pond of Nuthatcher Farm. Inspired by the chickens, the ducks decided they were tired of fish. With the encouragement of the duck, with the rooster's encouragement, the ducks dipped into the garden where they selected cilantro and gathered garlic. That night, the ducks ate guacamole, though nobody was quite certain where the ducks got the avocados. The spicy scent of garlic and cilantro hung over the barnyard and the ducks said, ole. The next morning, there were rumblings in the pig pen of the Nuthatcher farm. Overwhelmed by the enticing aronomas, the pigs decided they were tired of slop. While the rooster distracted farmer Nuthatcher, the pigs plodded through the garden where they borrowed beans and chopped chilies. That night, the pigs ate nachos, though nobody was quite certain where the pigs got the nacho cheese sauce. The delightful deliciousness of cheese and chilies hung over the barnyard, and the pigs said, ole. As everyone knows, when a passion for Southern cuisine takes hold of the farm animals and so many scrumptious spices, savory scents collide in the barnyard, that can only lead to one thing. What do you think is going to happen? We have all of these animals who are tired of their regular food and have started making Southwestern food. We have salsa and guacamole and nachos. What do you think that means that they are gonna do? It means a fiesta. The rooster got things organized, then returned to his fence post to watch for a good enchilada recipe. The horses decorated the barn. The bull practiced his Mexican hand dance, though nobody was quite certain where the bull got the sombrero. And the chickens and the ducks and the pigs snuck into the garden, but all of their spicy Southwestern supplies were gone. The scallions had been stolen. The peppers had been pilfered and the limes had been lifted. Who do you think stole all of their supplies? Everybody was getting ready for the fiesta and when it came time, there was nothing left. But there were slurpings in the kitchen of Nuthatcher Farm. Stirred by the succulent smells in their barnyard, Mrs. Nuthatcher had decided to make tamales for the county fair. 
and the saucy sweetness hung over the farmhouse kitchen, and Mrs. Nutcracker said, Ole. Disappointed, the animals canceled the fiesta. That evening, the chickens ate their chicken feed, the ducks ate their fish, and the pigs ate their slop. But while the nuthatchers were at the fair, the rooster crept into the kitchen and borrowed a French cookbook. The next morning, the rooster ate crepes with white grape sauce and a champagne sauce, though nobody was quite certain where the rooster had learned how to read. And a satisfied smile stretched over the rooster's beak as the rooster said, ooh la la. This is the book Chicks and Salsa. We're gonna keep referring back to it all week as we learn about character traits and do different activities. So next I'm going to share my screen with you and you guys are going to look at an anchor chart that would normally be in our classroom, um, but I'm going to share it with you digitally now. All right, so character traits. What you look at when a character says or does, you will be, oops. When you look at what a character says or does, you will look at the character's personality and be able to describe it or their traits. You can do this with one of two ways, looking at actions, Dad always says practice makes perfect, so we will spend lots of time hitting baseballs on the weekend. Or two, through dialogue. Jamie, I believe in you. You have such talent and drive. You will be a star one day, said Miss Joseph. So when I think about our character in the story of um, the rooster, and I'm sorry, the, that should be better. Um, Rooster, I want you to pause the video for a second and brainstorm different ways to describe the personality or the character traits of Rooster. So just pause right here for one second, brainstorm, and then when you come back, I'll share my ideas with you. All right, I hope that you paused your video and were able to brainstorm some ideas. The words that I thought of when I was thinking of Rooster, the first one was helpful. I think he's helpful because at the beginning of the book, when the chicken said that they were tired of their chicken feed, he wanted to help them and he gave them ideas of what they could eat. I also said he was sneaky because at the end of the book, when the farmers, went to the county fair. He snuck into the house to be able to look at the French cookbook, but he also was sneaky by hanging outside the farmer's wife's window all day watching all of her cooking shows. I said he was a party planner because when it was time to plan the fiesta, he made sure everything was organized, that everyone had brought their food and that they had different activities and the barn was um, decorated and he even went to go watch a video for enchiladas and the last one I said was a problem solver because it specifically said in the book um, I believe the first page that he went to solve a problem so there were grumblings in the hen house of Nuthatcher Farm. The chickens were tired of chicken feed. The rooster took it upon himself to solve this problem. So just he had heard that the chickens were upset and he said right away, I'm gonna fix that problem for you. So that's why I described him as a problem solver. So thanks for watching the video. I'm gonna post a question um, that refers back to this book for you guys to journal about. And I would love for you to share it with me on your Class Dojo uh, portfolio by first grade.